I'm from the T-Shirt University, and today I wanted to do a little small tutorial in Photoshop. It's removing the background. It's a different tool. I just want to show you. We're going to do it with a, I think it's a, a layer mask, and it's using two colors, black and white. And I'm gonna, I'm explaining this, but it's better for me to stop talking and open up and we're gonna go with this file I made this yesterday in a different tutorial okay what we always want to do before we start our project is duplicate a layer always make a copy okay so we never work on the original and what I did I turned off the first layer and we're working with the copy okay the tool that we're gonna need is the brush tool <clears throat> and if you go to your keyboard there's two bracket keys with the left bracket that makes this brush smaller and the right bracket we keep and go as big as see up and down this is a tool that you gotta kinda maneuver your fingers within the mouse okay now these colors have to be set your background colors white and black now I want to show you we and we and for this to work let me come down here and this is the mask tool now you see we have a white layer now look at what happens I'm gonna to touch the corner you don't see anything because we're on white now when I change this to black, black removes the background. See? Oh my goodness, I got rid of the face. Didn't mean to do that. Let's just paint it back. This is called non-destructive editing in Photoshop. Now I'm going to click on the bottom and that we bring back the original picture. Now if I just want to get rid now I just got to turn it back to get it back to black and This is just one different way of taking out the background. Of course, we have to be careful as we get close to the object. I just wanted to show you how a different method of how to do this without using this magic wand or the quick select. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Let's get back to our brush tool. Now when you're getting closer, you hit the left bracket, make it smaller. It's just a different technique. A lot of people think Photoshop is hard. It's not. It's just there's a lot of ways to do the same thing. And you're like, well, why would you want to go to this level to do that? I just want to show you a different method. You may not be used to doing this. And when you want to get closer, we won't, we won't harm anything I've been doing this a long time it's easy to me but you get control of what you want to take out of the background now some programs like remove BG won't take out enough Just showing you a different tool. Now, for speed purposes, I can come there. Nope, see, that's too much. That's the reason why I didn't want to use this tool. You would have to. 
I can use this tool now and I could let me undo this when you mess up I can come down and just quickly with my marching ants and I could oh because I have the black that's why that's not working let me undo my cut pixels I forgot once you're in this I would have to, to for that to work I'd have to literally turn the mask off let's see nope once you're in the mask this this won't work I forgot about that I apologize I apologize I apologize let's just control Z gets me out of keep stepping backwards okay now to go in closer what what I did I increased the percentage let's go 150 in same tool get back make sure I'm back to my brush I want to make this bracket smaller see now look how close I'm getting and if you accidentally touch anything like I did you just come in and paint it back some of the work needs this tool Go back to black. That's going to take us out over here. That's going to take us out. Some of the projects that I'm working on, client wants perfect cutout and they're willing to pay a lot of money for a perfect cutout and there's just sometimes in that app remove BG you won't get that perfect cutout you'll still have to know how to go in and being able to know how to do something is worth it you could step your t-shirt business and your graphic design business up because you can charge a lot more money and you could take on different jobs now we can go if we need to go further in we can go to 300 percent Remember, you got your bracket. You can make it smaller. Smaller takes less out. We can still get close. And we're not destroying it. And I just want to show you. We'll go back to 33%. Look at that. That's tight. Tight, tight. Just takes a little bit of time. This isn't something that's going to be speedy but I just want to show you how to be good and Photoshop is not as hard 
as people make it seem or sound. Just take your time in this area because my hand is smooth I could take bigger bites and I'm using the mouse I'm not using a pen tool if I was using not a pen tool I mean if I was using a pen oh I could do so much better make it smaller I'm clicking the left bracket because I'm getting closer here I know this tutorial is going to take a while, but I want to show you how to go in using a different tool, a different method. The more you know about Photoshop and the tools, the more powerful you become. Now, I accidentally went in there, so I just need to retouch her hair. Okay, and I flip it back. Black removes, white takes out. Now to go in here, it's got to be really tiny because we're just going in small pixels. This tool is more for an intermediate user. I wouldn't suggest beginners but you know what who am I it's your will to want to learn how bad you want to learn and patience you can master Photoshop stop saying something is hard just practice and apply yourself and it'll become easy Now I just want to paint in a little bit of this edge because I felt like I took some of it out earlier. Now I'm going to remove. Now I'm at 300%. Let's come out to 33. This is actual what the screen looks like. Now look how clean that space is. nothing on that side over there okay now we have to go in between our legs let's go on 400 percent I gotta change the tool real quick Now we're going in between the legs, so I have to go back to my brush tool. Now that's too big because we'll you'll see what happens if I press it, we eat away. Now, like I said, no worries. Put the white back. You paint it back in. This is not something to worry about. This is non-constructive editing. Now we're going to take the black out. We want to keep it small. 
on the inside because you don't want to as you get closer to the more sensitive areas we make it smaller Just take your time. This tutorial is just for fun. Now I can use the right bracket, make it bigger, and look at that one swipe. I know it's clean let's go back to 33% look at that BAM now we'll just get this part real done real quick let's go to 300 and I'll start working on the side As long as you come out of the screen, you don't have to change the tool. See, so just take your time, come down that neckline. The next tool I'm going to show you for speed is going to be the pen tool on my next tutorial. But the stray hair, we can cut that. It's not necessary to be there. Sometimes just for fun. I like to use this tool. Let's go back in. Touch her air up a little bit. This bracket needs to be smaller. Just we're clicking with the mouse. The closer you get, we're doing mouse clicks. Okay. This is going to be one nice clean photo. And the tighter you need it, the more you can go in. 300% is a lot to go in. Sometimes I go in the 800, depends on the detail that I need to get done. Let's check the side. Okay. Let's see. Those background removing software, they don't always work 
for every type of photo. If there's no depth of field in the picture, the computer is not going to be able to sync it to cut it out perfectly. Especially your magic wand, that tool will die real fast. There's a lot of times, a lot of situations where you can't use that tool. Every photo is different. Now, if this was on a white background, this person was shot on a white or a colored background, I would never waste the time to do this. I would use the magic, I would use this tool, the quick selection on a magic wand, because that would automatically get it with a tolerance of 32. But th this picture, it does not work like that. You'll spend so much time going on and off with it. Let's go, 33%, getting close. Now I just gotta get this part, and we're done. I just couldn't remember where I was. Okay. Let me get I I t went off of my brush tool by accident. And to be honest, sometimes I forget certain methods because there's like so many ways to do the same thing in Photoshop with the different tools that I'll just do it the way I remember how to do it. That's that's why I love Photoshop because you have so much control. Just make this tool smaller for this area. Let's enlarge this tool. As you get closer, you make it smaller. Just holding the mouse. I'm holding and moving my mouse with my finger, my right finger, my left finger on the click button. You have to hold the button down. Just make it bigger because this is an area I want to make sure I get through cleaning it quicker. It's about the speed now. 
I'm almost there. I just want to be done. I went in a little bit too much. Okay, let's see if we accomplished it. Oh. I see I missed this area. Now, this is something that I like to do. You go just to double check your work. Now we're going to go to the fill tool, the paint bucket. And we're going to go on this layer and we're going to paint it. Now I'm going to pull this layer down and see you can see where your mistakes are. Go back up to my layer. Go back to this tool. I meant to put it on white. See, now I can quickly run through the area where I missed. Go up to a hundred percent. Okay. Let's 
Sometimes in the hair you can get away with certain things. Like there's just certain pieces you can clean out and you really won't notice it. Okay, we're we're at a real good cutout now. Now we're gonna even go in here. We're gonna go in. This is why sometimes you have to change the method. Cause there's just certain tools that are not going to get you close enough even in this area right here it can be done 400%. Don't think it can't be taken out. Let's go to. I'll go up to 800% and I'll show you. The deeper we go in, see these square pixels now? I'm just going to make my tool smaller. Okay, now look at this. Look at that cutout. It's something to be proud of. I just want to get this corner of the leg. I see something right here. I could see it. I just want it better. This is the image at a hundred percent. That's still too big for my screen. Let's go to 30%. That's a nice cutout. Let's go to 50%. I'll fix this one little spot. Oh. Undo the brush tool. Oh, it's because it's 
undo it. And now we save this as a PNG and we're done and I'm going to open it up and show 